This is Exercise Arcade Fusion. RAF St Morgan has been transformed and its personnel increased 10 times over to allow the UK-led Allied Rapid Reaction Corps, better known as ARC, to command an entire theatre. On the ground, and this is the nerve centre of the operation, ARC's role is to support NATO missions anywhere in the world at just a few days' notice. In this room, they control everything that is happening around the camp. We pick a, a region in the world and a scenario which we then lay on to that region. Uh, that can be anywhere. Um, in this particular uh, scenario, uh, we're, um, we're using a country which is in uh, the northeast of Africa. Um, but that is, as I say, fictional. Uh, and we then uh, develop um, a scenario which works for the training objectives that we're trying to achieve for the particular training audience. And out in the field is where troops have to make key decisions. Uh, we're in the CJOC, which is the Combined Joint Operations Cell. Around you are, are a number of people. So on one occasion, we're dealing with a massive combat incident in the north, a full engagement with two armoured divisions in the south, missing people to the, to the southeast, maritime incidents with a foreign navy, IEDs, political instances, uh, terrorists, the whole lot. But no one functions without the right nutrients and the kitchen staff will use over 7,000 tonnes of potatoes and 8,000 litres of milk by the time the exercise finishes this week. The success, of course, is down to good planning here at the base and it's not the first time RAF St Morgan has played host to ARC. My staff have been working closely with ARC personnel to make sure that, particularly on the logistics, you know, the life support, that uh, we're all well found for them. And I think it's gone very well. Well, when this exercise comes to a close, many of the ARC personnel are hopeful of a well-earned Christmas break. But being the rapid response force, they are on call until New Year's Eve. So there is every chance they could still be called out within 48 hours to anywhere in the world. Heidi Davey, BBC Spotlight, RAF St Morgan.